What's going on, Aries? I hope you guys are having a good day so far. We're ready to do your March reading. Are you excited? I know I am. <laughs> I'll try to keep these short for you guys, so. Ooh, we're gonna get some novelas. Ooh, shit. <laughs> All right, well, let's get ready. She's right to this reading. Um, I was gonna say Leo, but no, this is Aries reading for March. So, this is the first card that came out. So, time. In order for you to, I think it's time for you to finally accept that situation's over. Situation's over. Um, or you need to learn to have more fun in your life. Stability, security, growth. Accepting what you deserve, not what you need, you know, what you need, not what you want. Closing a cycle. Starting a new phase, so that, they're pretty really different. So let's see what the romantic angels have to say about the situation. So if you guys like what I do, make sure you comment, like, share my videos. I do this for you guys, so let's see what the spirit wants me to tell you. So it's okay to love. It really is okay. I think you haven't, you're afraid to um, share that side of you, but, oh, mm. I see there's a reconciliation coming in, so this could be a past person coming back to reconcile with you, or you're going to reconcile with the past person. Anyways, but I don't think you're ready to reconcile with this person from the past, you haven't really, I don't really think you've taken the time for yourself, you know? I think you've just been buried in work or you've just been burying yourself in. So let's see. Oh shit. Damn. All right. The King of Wands. The King of Wands. So yeah, you got the King of Wands. About making actions. Queen of Wands here. Queen of Pentacles, my bad. Sorry. So let's see what why the Queen of King of Wands came out. So let's see. So there's somebody on the horizon coming back. Um the fact is this person sees you as their forever. Um two of wands, they want to build a life with you. But I don't know how you feel about this person. Aries, because I feel like you've been, this could be a new love I'm getting, but you're also going to have someone come back from the past. It's been delayed for a while, Nine of Pentacles. So there's someone that's coming in here to tell you how exactly how they, they feel about you. Eee, damn, these cards are flying everywhere. So they've been manifesting this situation, or you've been manifesting the situation, so... Look at right here. Reconciliation. Judgment. So there's someone coming back from your past that wants to reconcile with you. Could be a friend, could be a lover, could be a family member. Like I said, it's supposed to be general. But the fact is this person sees you as something, you know, more than than what you, than what you've been giving to that person, you know. So let's see what is the soul journey or what's the issues with you guys. What is the issues? Like I said, this is just supposed to be general, guys. It's timeless reading. I am based on energy, so you pick whichever energy you fit. If you're watching for an Aries, um, it's the reverse for you. So, what's the journey? Two cards came out for March. Wow, I really think that the fire signs. <laughs> so there's health coming in here again. So that Leo got the same thing too. So I really do think that you're not really honoring your your health, or you're not really um, taking care of yourself like the way you're supposed to. But I feel like you've already made your peace with this person because death cards right here. 
So I feel like the some person because someone caught your eye already. You already caught you already caught the eye of someone else, so that's why. So you could be in a relationship already, and this person's coming back to try to reconcile with you. And I mean you're gonna forgive this person, but I don't think you're gonna do anything more than what you need, because you know this person really hurt you, whoever whoever they did. So let's see. Try to make it short, sweet to the point. Leo's reading was juicy. I think yours is gonna just be to the point. You could be also dealing with another fire sign too, so. All right, let's see. Sagittarius, you know, you have to practice gratitude. You know, be grateful of what you are, what you're doing, and how long, you, it, it took you a while to get to this level. So I really think that you're trying to not dwell on the past. You're not trying to resent anything. But at the same time, you're not accepting things that are lesser than you, okay? And I feel like this person that's coming in, like, I feel like this person's also another fire sign that you're dealing with, too, so. Um, take a breath. <laughs> you know, take a breath. Let this person say what they have to say to you, you know? Maybe they. this is their way of getting their, this is their karma. I really feel like this person's dealing with a lot of karma. That's why they're coming back. And I feel like um, take take inspirational action. So it's up to you if you want if you want to have this person back in your life. Le uh, Aries, oh Jesus Christ! Like I said, I'm getting Leo, Gemini, or an air sign, Virgo. It's up to you what you want in the situation, um, Aries. But I'm seeing your business grow up thriving. So a lot of you that I've ever connected with in the past with all the Aries, a lot of you guys are um, own your own business. Uh, Spirit's letting me know that your business is going to continue, continue to grow and flourish. And that's why I feel like that's another reason why this person's coming back because they see the potential now. <laughs> it's like, they're like, oh my God, Aries, you're fucking hot. You're doing the shit. Mm, you're bossing up. Woo! I want. Why did I let go of this Aries? Well, bitch, that's your fault. <laughs> you see, you didn't. You didn't want me at my lowest point, but now you want me at my highest point. F you. That's what I feel like you're gonna say to this person. So I feel like this person let you high and dry. Why do I feel like this person also broke your heart by? So for Aries, I feel like somebody broke your heart by um, either still dealing with their ex or they um, or they were having sex. Someone cheated. I'm sensing some cheating going on here. So um, and that's probably why health came out. It's like like, you know, what I'm saying like, you know, you don't need drama. You don't need stress. Death. Death to all that shit. OK. Let me know what you guys think about the reading. This is for Aries for the month of March. I um, hope you guys are excited, and I'm going to try to do more readings for you guys. Um, let you guys know. Enjoy your reading.